Okay, welcome to our first Motion Genesis video. Um, some basic commands. So, uh, first of all, there's quit, which allows you to end the session, and then help. There's plot, which we're not going to cover in this, this video also, but help is the main one here. So, we're going to type help here. And whether it's lowercase or uppercase, Motion Genesis is not case sensitive. So, if I type help, it gives me a list of commands. Um, and most of the commands are pretty obvious what they are because of the, uh, the somewhat English type of, of, um, of usage here. So we have like get magnitude. Uh, it's pretty obvious I think it, that would get the magnitude of a vector. Um, dot product is very common. Uh, matrix, uh, rotate x, rotate y, rotate z. So most of these commands, which we'll go over in other videos, are pretty easy to understand. They're a little bit long to type, but they're pretty easy to understand. So I say get cm velocity. I'm guessing that gets the center mass velocity, just an example. Okay, but if I type help for a specific command, so if I type for them to help, oops, help, and then, uh, for example, dot would be a dot product. I know how to do that, but let's say I'm trying to find out what's the uh, syntax for this command. I know that dot will do dot product. Let's find out what it does. And so it tells me here, dot forms across the dot product between uh, two vectors, A and B. And so A must be a vector, B must be a vector, or a dyadic, triadic, or matrix. Um, and it goes on and tells some related uh, uh, commands you might use, and then finally says, Press enter for examples or any, any other key to stop. So I'll press enter for some examples here. And it gives me some examples of various dot products. Uh, so here's example code. Uh, it defines a vector V and a vector W. Um, and in case you're not fully motion, motion genesis yet, this is an input script, which I'll show you in a second. Um, the line numbers are things that uh, are, um, are input. These little arrows are outputs from motion genesis. And so uh, we've entered these various things here, lines one through six. Line seven is a response from, from motion genesis. Uh, line eight we've input, and line nine is a response from motion genesis. So the arrows are responses or command prompt returns from motion genesis. So anyway, so we defined a vector V and a vector W. We ask it to V cross W, which is a cross product, obviously. This is the help for dot, but it does dot and cross. Uh, and then we have V dot W, which is the dot product, an example of that command we just had. So dots V and W. Uh, if you look at it, you can verify the math that it is x plus 2y plus 3z. Um, okay, so let's talk about how we would actually enter commands in Motion Genesis. So I could write, uh, you know, one command at a time. So I could do a dot product, for example. But more likely than, than writing the commands in Motion Genesis is you write a script file. So this would be done in WordPad, in, in, in a PC, or text editor in the Mac. I'm using a Mac here, so I'll bring over my text example here. Um, so this is a, a sample.txt, so it's a text file, it's a script file. Um, it'll run these one line at a time. So percent means uh, um, a comment, like most programming languages. Uh, so rigid frame C is the first command here I'm going to execute. And when I do rigid frame C, uh, it's going to create uh, the vectors CX, CY, and CZ, the unit vectors. And it's also going to create the origin point CO. So I'll create those four things. Now, motion genesis is not case sensitive, um, but it will use the, the case that I originally defined it. It's called birthing, which I originally birthed it. So it'll use capital C, uh, for capital CX, capital CY, capital C CZ, uh, vectors, and capital CO. Um, constants here, I, I define three constants, A1, A2, A3, and these are lowercase. So I created them as a lowercase, so motion genesis will default back to lowercase. Now, I create this vector A. This little symbol here is the, the caret means vector. So A is a vector. I say A1, and notice it's not case sensitive. So I use capital A1 here and lowercase a1 there. And I use capital CX, but of course, Motion Genesis wants to use the, the, I use lowercase CX, and Motion Genesis wants to use capital CX. So you'll see it'll return, when I type A, CX, it'll, type, it'll return it with lowercase a1 and capital CX. So it'll, it'll change the cases for me into what I originally uh, birthed them at. But it's not case sensitive, just trying to make a point there. So I have capital, say A1 times CX plus A2 times CY plus A3 times CZ. I get a percent, uh, a, a note here saying not case sensitive. Another comment here, I'm going to do a, a product of a vector. I'm creating a vec named vec, a vector named vec, which because I'm not very creative. Uh, the, the scalar 2 times this vector A. And then I'm going to save the output, what, the, the entire file, including motion genesis, um, 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 uh, returned comments uh, with uh, like this file called sample.html, which I, I can open any any browser window. 
Okay, I'm actually going to make a mistake on purpose here. So I'm going to remove this symbol here. I'm going to make it an error. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to say this vector equals 2 times a. Of course, most of Genesis is not going to like this because this is a vector on one side and a scalar on the other. But let's see what happens here. Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way. And the command to do is run. And I'm going to say sample, the name of that file, .txt. Now, most of Genesis has to be in the same folder as this, um, as this file. And if you don't want to do the full path name, you could write the full path name if you want. But if this uh, file, sample.txt, is the same directory as most in Genesis, uh, you don't have to do any type of path or anything. Okay, so it's going to go in and run, and it does exactly what I what I did. So I ran this thing. Here's my first comment. Obviously, we had rigid frame C, constants A0, A1, A2, A3, and like I said, so here's what I put in. A equals capital A1, lowercase cx, and it returns lowercase A1, because it was birth as a lowercase, capital CX, because it was it was a capital C. It's not case sensitive, but it uses the... the uh, the notation, the capital or lowercase, depending on how you created it originally. Um, so it creates this back to me. All right, now it says vector product in a scalar. It says vector equals 2a. It says, ah, script stopped. Uh, you know, you can't do this. So it didn't quite run right. And so what normally happens is, and, and in most in Genesis, you'll make a ton of errors, and it goes beep, and you, you can't hear it on the video. But it beeps at me. I'm like, oh, there's something wrong. Okay, so i got to fix that. So I go there. I fix this. It's a vector. I resave that. And then I'm going to go, and I can I can continue on uh, with my commands. But what I usually do is clear, which clears the uh, the workspace, and then I'll run it again. Sample, oops, I can type sample .txt, and that will run fully through. Uh, and it says here run sample .txt, and it goes through the whole thing. My last line here: save sample .html. I've run this before because I practiced it. So it says, do you want to overwrite it? Yes. Okay, so. When I go to open this sample.html file, it looks something like this, and it has the name sample.html, uh, and it shows all the things from that window. So uh, line one is where I input things. Line five, that was a return or, or you know response from Motion Genesis, because I defined the vector A, and it tells, okay, this is vector A. And then I, in line seven, is my input, and, vec and uh, in line eight was the output. Uh, so the only thing it doesn't record is line nine, which is the save command. So it doesn't do the save command. That doesn't get saved in the output file. Okay, and it says, tells you who saved it by and the, the, the copyright and everything. Okay, so that's uh, how you would uh, get help and run a script file. In the end, of course, we just type quit, and we can quit Motion Genesis. And that's the end of our first uh, Motion Genesis tutorial.